Saint Ethelbert II was a young Anglo-Saxon king who was murdered in the 8th century. He was known for his great holiness and the pureness of his life, which led to his being canonized locally after his death. He is regarded as the patron saint of the city of Hereford and the diocese of Hereford. Ethelbert was brought up with a Christian education at the monastery of Bury St. Edmunds. He was apparently unusually pious as a young man and was filled with a love for all things religious. He was serious yet friendly, polite and kind-hearted apparently. Ethelbert took his faith very seriously and prayed fervently each day. He wanted to imitate Christ in everything he did. When he was fourteen he was made king following his father's death. Some time later, when Ethelbert was older, he was offered marriage, but the saintly young man declined in order to preserve his virginity. Finally, after a period of celibacy, Ethelbert realized he needed an heir, and so agreed to marry the daughter of King Offa of Mercia. While on the expedition to see his future bride, Ethelbert was apprehended by King Offa's men, who beat and finally beheaded him, as the king feared that Ethelbert was really plotting to overthrow him. It is believed that the scene of St. Ethelbert's murder was the royal villa at Sutton, and his death occurred in the year 794 AD. Although he is often referred to as a martyr, Ethelbert was not in fact a martyr, but rather a victim of inequity and cruelty. He was a very popular saint in medieval England, and his shrine at Hereford Cathedral was frequented by pilgrims from all over England. Many miracles were reported attributed to his intercession. Among them it is said that the saint appeared to a man named Britfrid and pointed out his relics, which he asked to be moved to Hereford. The saint also cured a blind man who invoked his intercession. His feast day is May 20th. Saint Ethelbert, pray for us. Thanks for watching.